This is nice. So I wanted to do a little something different on my channel and share a little clip of my sister's trip that I took um, in Cuba. We spent four days. It was amazing. The people, the culture. Oh my gosh. I felt like I took a time capsule back in time to the 1950s and 60s. Um, this footage that I'm showing you, this is where they call the Malicon. This is where the Fast and Furious um, filmed on this trip. And the vehicle that we're in, um, it was also in the Fast and Furious. The driver shared with us and he was very excited to share that. Um, this car was owned by his grandfather, then it passed on to his to his father and himself. So you see all these beautiful vintage vehicles all <laughs> over cuba and you know obviously with the embargo but they maintain what they have they value what they have and it was just a joy to be immersed in the culture and you know they're living on wi-fi so i was disconnected from the world so it was amazing just to take a break um so the next few footage will be a mixture of little video clips you know architecture artists are singing um and pictures and hope you enjoy <laughs> And this place right here was literally right behind our apartment. <laughs> I booked everything through Airbnb. And this spot was where, again, Fast and Furious were filmed. It's their center plaza. And that's a cathedral. Um, just looking at the architect, like, it's just so beautiful. And that's the Bank of Nova Scotia. Yeah. Yeah, just beautiful. Doesn't this look like, you know, we went back in time with the vehicle <laughs> parked and having our clothes dry out? Yeah. I just loved every bit of this trip. And this is a spot where Hemingway supposedly would come for his mojitos. So it's a known, well-known spot. And Cuba had the best mojitos. Amazing, I've ever experienced in my life. And you're about to see, they are not stingy with their alcohol, okay? They just pour. All you got to keep saying is mas, mas. And they just keep pouring, you know? They are not stingy with the alcohol. And the 
artist, like they're just amazing. So this was a street artwork and I brought that one with me home though with a cigar. So yeah. And this was, we're on our way to the beach um, on the countryside and I just was taking a picture and I was like, ooh, this is a nice shot with the car in the background. Yeah, and there was beachside service. Um, yeah, they, <laughs> it was just amazing. Um, I'm glad I went. I'm glad I did not allow, you know, media or what's perceived or what Cuba is about. And there's nothing to be fearful about. They love Americans. Um, the people were just amazing. It's the safest I've ever felt in any country, shoot, even in the United States in some parts. So, yeah, that's my sister. So we had our shirt made and we did a, had a photo shoot as well. And this is one of my pictures from the photo shoot. And it was students from their school of photography from the local university. Again, booked through Airbnb. So thanks for watching, guys. I know it's a short clip, but this is the street where we just, um, where our apartment was at. So just want to show you guys. Have a wonderful day. You know, maybe I'll come back and do another clip and show some stuff. Um, I tried not to, because my sisters is in a lot of footage, so I don't really, I, I, they're not about the YouTube life, so yeah, I'm limited on <laughs> what I can share because they're, you know, pretty much in all my clips and stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. And put Cuba on your list if you have not visited. It's going to be an amazing experience in a time travel. Oh, this was the food that we, one of the foods that we had um, dinner. And it was great. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Let me check out. I just so many pictures, so many videos. And thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And I will be debating if I'll be putting a part two if I could. Find some footage without my sisters being in it. <laughs> All right, have a wonderful day.